everybody. I'm going to reveal something to you. Something exciting. There we go. <laughs> it's our hallway. Isn't that looking clean? I just love it. Okay, so it wasn't a Michelangelo masterpiece that I bought or nothing, but it is a Joe Fraylin masterpiece. Even the, even that <laughs> arch is clean now. I want to cry. No, I'm kidding. But I love it. I can't wait to put some stuff on it. And I gotta go. I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh man, I'm out of breath. Joe made waffles, the Belgian waffles. I'm so glad we got that waffle maker. He made Belgian waffles with, there, <laughs> with strawberries, whipped cream. And it's so filling, but so good. <sighs> Didn't he do a good job on that haul? I just love it. That painting, I covered that twice with the white, and it still shows through, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just because I'm going to be paint, make, painting that quilt over it. I couldn't seem to get a clear shot of the quilt in the picture, but I got one I think was clear enough that I could make it out. I mean, I could make out most of the details. And the... It's not, it's not really in squares, it's more like, you know, the old patchwork type where this whatever thing you got, you would piece it in, and, well, I mean, there's all kinds of old kind of quilts, but what I mean is, you know, the, the kind where if you, if whatever you had, you would just piece it in. If it was a rectangle, or if it was a square, or if it was a polygon, whatever. <laughs> and so that's what was in the picture. So I just kind of drew, drew in something to that effect, something sewable. But I want to make it colorful, and and then I think of the outside. I'm going to probably paint. You know, to kind of sh show it up, I'm going to probably paint it, I think maybe black around it. So, uh, I wet my hair down in the sink today. Oh, golly. So if I'm out of breath, it's because there's so much food taking up room in my tummy. <laughs> it is humid out here. It's been hot. We had the, well, the other day we had all those storms. And it really cooled it down. And then it heated right back up. <laughs> if they hadn't had all the storms that night, it would have been, for that evening, it would have been nice to come out here then. But, you know, when you're waiting to hear sirens. But thank goodness they turned out to be mostly north and south of us and east and west of us so we're kind of like a little wash basin here we did get rain and that was just fine with us there's a couple of what are those there's a couple of little birds just kind of stroll in the middle of the street one will go and then the other one will catch up He just, no, nope, he didn't stop very long. It's like, I don't know which one's the girl and which one's the boy, but they're kind of. I'll see if I can do this without scaring them away. They'll probably take off flying as soon as I get out here. No, nope, he stopped so she could catch up. I don't know. Oh, I knew it. There they go. I spooked them. I hope everybody's had a great day. I really do. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank goodness it's Friday. Oh my Lord. I'm going to be having trouble breathing through this whole thing. And this time it's not all my all because of my COPD. It's because my tummy is too full. I am not unhappy about what I ate. It was just too good. That little bird is blending in so well. If I didn't, hadn't noticed, there she goes. If I hadn't noticed the movement, I wouldn't have seen her. So little and just blended right in. She, I think she had kind of a, I don't know if it was a baby cardinal or something. <laughs> I get fascinated with little things. A lot of birds come out this, are hatching out and the babies are learning to fly for the first time. And parents are finally getting to just leave the nest and not worry about the kids. <laughs> The kids are out of the nest, so parents can leave too, I guess. I don't know. But they're all just having fun. There's one of those blackbirds with yellow beak again. I wish I could figure out what... I looked it up and on Google Images one time, and it's like there's several kinds, but... I, th I think most of them are some kind of blackbird. Way too small to be a raven. Way, way, way too small to be a raven. <laughs> I love the way birds move. <laughs> I, love, I love the way they move. But once they, take, once they take off flying, they're just as graceful as can be. For me, it's just fun to be out here watching the birds and talking to you. There's a robin over there. No, that's not a robin. It's too much red on it. Might be an Oriole. It might be an Oriole. It's not a, it's not a, a I need my glasses. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's got too much red to be. But it's not a cardinal, because it's got some brown on the back. The female cardinals aren't as colorful as the males, but this, this is really bright on, but it's not like a robin where it's just here. It's like up under the wings. And, Maybe up around the neck a little. It might be an Oriole. We'll have to see. I don't know if I've seen a meadow lark, meadow lark for a while. They used to be very plentiful. Ah, uh, let's go outside. Let's go outside. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. I got myself sat down. Phew. Let's scan the neighborhood. See what's going on. I'm just going to have to set you guys down. You can sure hear them. I have some couple. Oh, there's some there's three boys over on the church steps just playing come on let's get some squirrels and some birdies out here that's a little green spider he's going away I'm just gonna let him I don't know where he's going but <laughs> he's well above my head
it's awfully shady down the, to the south, so I'm going to keep you on looking to the north a bit because it's more clear, more of a clearing. It's getting toward dusk. Brown, brown. Somebody's either on a bike. <laughs> Sounds like they're on a bike. It's buggy. I got smile and wave. I love when I get a smile and wave back. Actually, they smiled and waved before I did. <laughs> 